Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylin Alex. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So guys, the summer is just about here. We're still treading spring. It's hot here, so we're just about in the summertime. So I figured I'd give you guys some like summer must-haves from my personal collection and stuff that I would recommend outside of things that I have. Um, I tried to like narrow it down to like two, no more than three items per like little category. So let's just get started. So we'll start with clothing. Now this can be, uh, uh, this is really gonna depend on your personal style. For me, my personal style is more of a relaxed, chic, feminine, kind of edgy. Honestly, I don't really have like one specific lane. <laughs> if I like something, I like it. Um, but for the most part, every day, jeans um, or something more comfortable is what I gravitate towards. So that is kind of going to be what I mentioned here. The first item is nothing new. <laughs> something that I have mentioned like forever. It is going to be my mesh key bodysuit. Now this is just like a t-shirt bodysuit. It does have the, um, you know, it's a bodysuit. It's the white, I have it in black as well. This, my friend, I love. I wear it at least once a week. That's how much I, I love this. I've had it for a few years now. It is literally one of my favorite bodysuits. I love the way it feels. It has that jersey material, so it's not it's not like a t-shirt material. It's more of that like jersey style. It has good stretch in it. I even wore it pregnant <laughs> um, and it didn't like stretch out. It came right back. It is um, reversible in the sense that you can wear it with the little M. They have like a little M here in the front logo. I don't know if my lights are too bright, but there's just this tiny little M. There it is right there in the front. You can wear it that way or with the M, their logo to the back. So I usually, depending on what I'm wearing, I wear it to the back. Sometimes I wear it to the front. Nonetheless, this is one of my favorites. I love that I can literally put this on with jeans or dress pants because of the material. It can, it's so versatile. And it's like a, I would consider this an essential um, when you don't want to wear like a t-shirt, like a sh actual shirt. You want something a little bit more fitted and something that is gonna stay inside of your bottoms this is this is perfect like i said i have it in white and black um i cannot recommend this enough the next item that i have on the list is a nice pair of jeans now if you're not a jeans person skip right on over this i love denim i love jeans like they're my favorite i i just feel like everyone needs at least one good pair of jeans in different washes <laughs> i love jeans so the pair that I'm going to mention are these from H&M. They have like the distressed front on them. You guys will see me try them on. But I've like torn a little bit more of a hole. Well, you know, when you wear them, the holes stretch a little bit more. These are my favorite. Now, what I will mention about these is that you do have to, I would suggest sizing up two to three sizes for that relaxed fit i did size up two to, um two sizes so that i can get a fitted relaxed fit they are a tiny bit there's a tiny gap in the back i'm okay with that i usually just get it altered anyway so size up especially if you are a thick girl like me you want a little more room in the thigh area we can get it cinched in in the waist that 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 is not a problem so these i absolutely love they are comfortable to be jeans and i find that i prefer to like and this may be a thing that i just you know wasn't on the wave of <laughs> as much but i've since started to wash my jeans and let them air dry versus like putting them in the dryer i would usually put them in a dryer on like a low temperature and then let them dry like that but since putting them, just letting them air dry, I feel like they are so much more easier to wear and so much more relaxed and comfortable versus letting them dry in the dryer for any amount of time. 
Um, and especially with these because I feel like they shrink in the dryer and then you have to wear them to loosen them up. I don't feel like I have to do that since I let them air dry now. Um, so yeah, I love these jeans. I highly recommend them. I feel like they're the perfect summer jeans, but especially with the rips in them and the their ankle weight, I can dress them up when i say up with these like with heels and like you know go to brunch or something like that obviously nothing to nothing formal or you know business casual with these hoes but i like that they can be styled you know pretty pretty differently so these i have literally been living in like i wear these so much i did not even think that i would like them that much because i'm like mm, okay they're just another pair of jeans like i love jeans but these these my friend i have to say i feel like everyone needs a pair and especially now because we're in that 90s loose fitting you know straight leg jean wave <laughs> this is perfect and i feel like h&m has some of the perfect jeans for that reason again size up a size or two or three for that relaxed fit and you can just get them altered if you need to now the next item I have on my little list is my human length skirt. Now I don't have that one in front of me, but this skirt is a recent purchase. I have been really, really, really enjoying it. This is a skirt that I had on when I went to the Louis Vuitton event. I uh, posted a picture on it of me in the skirt. This skirt, I absolutely love. Now what I love most about this skirt is that it is that satin material, but it has stretch. Now I don't typically go for satin slip skirts or like slip dresses like in this style because I feel like they just do nothing for me and I've mentioned that before and especially with no stretch I feel like I have to size all the way up to just to get it to fit right getting it altered it's just not the same so when I saw that this had good stretch in it I was like oh my goodness it has good stretch in it it looks phenomenal I love the way it feels this is another skirt that literally can be dressed up or down. You can wear this with sneakers. You can wear this with sandals. You can wear this with a blazer. You can wear this with heels. Like there's so many different ways that you can wear this skirt. I love it. I also feel like it is pretty versatile in when the time of the year you can wear it. For me, it doesn't get super cold here. So I can wear it pretty much year round with like some boots or um, like a closed toe shoe and still be good but even if you're in somewhere that it gets a little bit colder I still feel like it's a good layering piece because you can throw it on with a coat with some tall boots or even like tights with like some type of shoe there's so many different ways you can wear it and it's plus it has that like um what is that like slant high low uh design to it like one side's a little higher than the other I cannot say enough good things about this skirt. I definitely think it is worth the money and worth worth having. Okay, now moving on to my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite category, shoes. I love shoes. This was a hard one because I feel like I love shoes so much. There's so many. I just want to bring out my whole collection and be like, you need every one. But truth be told, you don't need them. Um, <laughs> I am just a shoe girl. I'm a shoe collector. I just, I, I, I have a lot that I would say everyone like go get. But I narrowed it down to the three sh pairs of shoes that I have been wearing the most consistently throughout the week, if not like every other day alternating between these these are in heavy rotation now before i get started i do want to mention the gucci platform shoes i forget the name of them but they've come out in a few different colorways now that is a shoe that i would recommend i forgot to mention it in my summer sandals uh video but i love that shoe and i love the fact that they've come out with different colorways it's bomb I, I recommend that one. It didn't make this list, but I highly recommend it. So we're gonna start with the pair that is an OG I have had for several years. Um, my favorite brand, Chanel. They are these sandals. Now I hit the toe on an uneven surface on the concrete and it ruined the lambskin, but that's neither here nor there. They're still bomb shoes. These are very delicate, but they're so, gorgeous they're still like you can wear them and not have to like be afraid to wear them but these are lambskin um they are a thinner sole and the logo at the bottom has 
has kind of worn and I feel like this this um the sole is just it's it's kind of sensitive I'm not I'm not even gonna lie it's kind of sensitive because you can kind of see my feet imprints here at the top but these are some of my favorite sandals I've had these shoes for a few years and like I said I've got my money's worth <laughs> uh, pretty much all of my money's worth when it comes to this shoe because this is what I, I pick up a lot. The gold detailing that is on the CC buckles here on the straps, it is that neutral color so it goes with everything. It is a flat, you know, I love a mule style. This one, this one I've worn a lot, it goes with everything. And I feel like this is another one that can be dressed up or down because I can wear this with something a little bit more dressier, you know, that's sandal appropriate and this this still works so i really really love this shoe i try to find the style code for it it was maybe like three maybe four years ago when i got this sandal so i don't know if it's still available but they may have something similar y'all know how chanel do it's here it's there it's it's not there i'll try to leave the style code down below so if you can like find someone reselling them or find them somewhere you have that now, if you've been watching my videos consistently for the past few months, then you already know what's coming up next. <laughs> my Fendi Rouge sandals. Y'all, I am not kidding when I say I've been wearing these shoes like every day. I don't know what is it about them. I just love them so much. They're literally the pair of shoes that I go to every day like i have to stop myself from wearing them and i'm not just trying to sell you on these shoes like i'm not even just trying to convince you that you need them but i have really been enjoying them that's really what i'm trying to say i have thoroughly been enjoying this shoot i really didn't understand or i didn't think that i would because i mean like i have similar styles to this um uh, and you know i rotate them out so it's not like a Oh my god i wear them every day but this shoe for some reason i find that it goes with so many things that i already have and it just fits so easily into my wardrobe that i was it's literally the shoe that i gravitate towards the most i probably wear this shoe every day um and i have to force myself not to wear it because i'm like it don't really like I can I can get used from another pair of shoes like this doesn't have to go with this you know what I mean it's just so easy to wear um, and they're comfortable I just and, you know the color is more of a muted neutral tone and color so it goes with a whole lot of outfits and things so I don't know I just love them these were definitely a great buy and one of my favorite purchases so yeah moving right along we have another pair of sandals they're gonna be these Valentino rope detail sanders. I love these. I feel like these just scream summer. The vibrant colors, the multicolors, the you know the rope detailing. This is just summer. This reminds me of the beach or a tropical island. Like I get all the feels when I see this shoe and I wear it. This is another one that is comfortable. I feel like it can go with. It can go with relatively a lot because it has multiple colors in it, but. You do kind of have, it is kind of tricky though because of the different colors. It, everything has to like just flow and pair well. And I also feel like because it is multicolored, you would kind of have to like tone down the rest of the outfit and the rest of the accessories to accommodate for the fact that there's multicolors. It is rope detailing and it has studs along the heels. Nonetheless, love this shoe. Very comfortable. This one for me is a summer must have because it can go with so many different things. Now moving on to the third category, which is another favorite category of mine. It's probably neck and neck with shoes and that's handbags, of course. Now this one, this one was hard because I just want to bring my whole collection out and say all of these are summer must-haves. All of these are must-haves in general, but I tried to narrow it down to two bags, maybe three, that are more summer ish and just gives the feel of summer so here we go the first one is my gucci um globetrotter case i have been loving this bag this has been my everyday bag i have um really really loved this bag i'm so glad that i got it because 
it pairs with everything and i love the fact that it's the trunk material it's a top handle y'all know that's my vibe that's my style it has the long strap so i can wear it crossbody if need to if i have the baby um and like i said it fits a whole lot and i love i just i just love that and the bamboo detailing on the top just screams summer to me of course this is not just a summer bag by any means but i just feel like the bamboo top just reminds me of a good summer bag if you know what i mean so yeah really been enjoying this bag it has been my go-to bag what i will mention and what i will stick to saying from the unboxing video is that this bag is heavy this is literally a trunk case whenever you do, when it's empty it's heavy so just imagine putting anything in it it gets a little bit more weighted i personally don't carry a whole lot as you'll see in the next one um so the weight of it doesn't necessarily bother me as much, but if you're a person who like carries a lot in your bags and you want to like carry this with a lot, it is going to be a little bit heavy. So just FYI, um, other than that, I have no complaints about this bag still. I still love it. Next bag is a bag that I have been wearing, I'm trying to stop myself from wearing because I've been wearing it that much. It's going to be my mini rectangle, my Chanel mini rectangle with the top handle. Now this bag... I honestly didn't think I would get a whole lot of use out of it because of the kind of like tie-dye multicolors that is in it, even though it's toned down. Um, and the fact that it's not super big, I was unsure of how well I would be able to wear it day to day. It has been a breeze. This has been my go-to bag, honestly. Like, I feel like it just, it unexpectedly works with so many different things. So... I love that and especially the long strap on it it makes it easy for me to wear when I have the baby I have to think about these things now <laughs> uh, so inside I have my things because this is the bag I've been carrying now I typically just take out this little case my toiletry 15 and whatever is in here is usually my the stuff that I need so I just transfer it from bag to bag um, and it fits in here perfectly. I can even fit my cell phone in here. It's a breeze. So I haven't had any issues out of it. I love this bag. I love the colors. Of course, it is one of those brighter in some area tone bags. So to me, that just screams summer. It is a little bit. Some of the colors are a little bit darker for the summer, but I still feel like this is giving summer for me. So a nice color bag or, you know, something of the sort is just perfect for the summer because I feel like, you know, it, it brightens the mood. It gives us a little bit more excitement, you know, it's a little, it's more excitement. Next bag I do not have in front of me, but it's going to be my white Chanel jumbo. Now the jumbo is a bigger size bag, but hey, it works for me. It works for my lifestyle. I love that I can wear it on the shoulder, of course, or if I'm going out or want to wear it more as an evening bag, I can wear it as a top handle. It is white, so it is perfect for the spring or summertime. I do. It is caviar leather. Um, so I'm not as careful, but that white color, I'm still cautious of. I don't really want to get the color transfer from certain outfits. So I make sure I'm careful with um, what I'm wearing when I wear that bag. But honestly, I have been wearing it at one point as an everyday bag and didn't have any, you know, issues with any color transfer or anything like that. Thank the one above. <laughs> but I am still very cautious with that bag. But it made the video because I feel like it's a perfect summertime bag. And it's just it's it's just easy to wear, of course. Now, the next little category I have on the list are totes. A nice tote is perfect for the summertime. And I feel like it's perfect for the summertime because during the summer, we generally travel the most. And it's you need a beach bag, a, a travel tote, a catch-all type of bag. And I have a, a good list of bags that I've been seeing. And I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect. I need one of these. Now, I only, um, for me, have the my Louis Vuitton tote and a oh, St. Laurent, the Reeve Gauche, Gauche purse or tote. <laughs> Those two in the leather version of that one love them love 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 i honestly i feel like i need a few more totes in my collection because i feel like they can serve different purposes now a few of the ones that i've been seeing and loving are the of course the chanel i think it's deville 
bag we've seen it's you know a classic from chanel love that one the prada raffia i think is perfect for the summer that woven material is definitely beach appropriate there's the Marc Jacobs tote bag that I've been seeing pop up a whole lot that I think is super cute and at a good price point. The Chloe tote. There's the uh, Prada, uh, I think it's a Jacquard tote. Dior, of course. Fendi has one. There's so many different brands that it has a nice tote, but I feel like totes are perfect for the spring summertime because of traveling, the beach, water parks. Um, you know, just catch all style bags are perfect for this time of year. You know what I mean? The next, the next category is of course, sunglasses. Now I am a sunglass girl. I feel like sunglasses are the perfect accessory to complete an outfit. They just change the vibe and like upgrades the vibe a bit. So I'm here for sunglasses all year long, all the time. Okay, but of course in the summertime, you know, especially when we need a little bit more UV protection or just style. Okay, so the first pair that I have on that I'm going to mention are my Porsche sunglasses. These are the, um, I cannot remember the actual name, but they have the blue tint and there's a, a change out of the lens. I love these. Like these just. These scream summer to me. I feel like this whole, the blue on the on the frame and the blue lens just screams beach. <laughs> I feel like these are what you wear to the beach. Now I've worn them to everywhere other than the beach, but these are these are perfect for the summertime. You know, drop top on the beach, going to get some ice cream, going for a nice walk. These, these are definitely sassy, beach, summer appropriate. Like spring, summer, I get the most use out of these. Sticking to that same kind of theme and style, I have my Tom Ford. I believe these are the Noddington sunglasses. Now these are actually men's sunglasses, but I feel like they work well with women as well because they're not super big. They're not super small either. They like, po I feel like they could be unisex. I'm wearing them, so I don't really mind about wearing men things. These are just so perfect to me. They come in a few different colors. Again, that lens that is kind of like bright, summery, yellowish tint to it. It's just a vibe. I'm just here for it. I love the contrasting black frame, but then you turn to the side and there's like a tortoise. Um, is it the arm or the leg? I don't know what you call that. <laughs> it's like tortoise, but it's just, look. it looks so cute. I just feel like these just, these look like the summertime. I really, really like these. I really love these. These are ones that I have been gravitating towards a lot, that I have been wearing a lot. So 10 out of 10, would recommend. Now slightly switching gears, I'm going to mention, of course, my Chanel sunglasses now these are perfect for year round like these go well at any point in any time like they are just classic black sunglasses but you know they're still a vibe they're still summertime i if you prefer more of a black frame just like a square kind of vibe or if that's what you're looking for that that's what you want these are of course perfect the i love that the lens is super dark so but it also has like that gradient kind of tint to it so it's not just black if you know what i mean if you can kind of tell with the lights um i just i just love them especially the gold detailing on the side it's just like luxury but understated but you know that they're nice you know that they're still looks these are definitely just a must have purchase in general. Now, the last category that I have on the list are gonna be fragrances. Now, of course, your fragrance is gonna depend on your body chemistry, the things that you like, but if you're anything like me, these are what I would recommend. <laughs> these are gonna be fragrances that I have been wearing in heavy rotation. I am a girl who wears a perfume every day or fragrance every day, morning, noon, night. I'm that girl, okay? so. The three that I have been wearing the most is going to be Louis Vuitton Symphony. This one, 
it the top notes are tropical the medium bottom the the, the wear down everything about this fragrance is tropical the description is tropical so of course it's going to be a fragrance that i would highly recommend for the summertime it is one of those limited edition fragrances not sure how long they're going to be around but from my understanding as of when i'm recording this video it's still available so that is one that i would recommend or that i have been wearing a lot <laughs> i've had to stop myself from wearing it that's how much i've been wearing it the next one is going to be the creed aventus for her this is an og fragrance but i have just fallen in love with it i also feel like i love love and white as well they're kind of like here and here for me i they smell similar but they're both to me summertime fragrances and just going to depend on your preference and body chemistry but this is another one. The last one is going to be Mason Francis Kirk Dijon in Satin Mood. I feel like this is super soft. Soft. <laughs> it has that powdery feel. You definitely feel that sat or smell the satin vibe that the fragrance, you know, is. The, this is one that I will wear more in the evening time or night. But of course, you can wear these fragrances whenever you want. But these are fragrances that I have been wearing in heavy rotation that I have been really loving. And I know that going into the summer, these are going to be perfect for that time. So that's what we have. Guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, drop a nice comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I post again. And I will see you in the next video.